And I just want to, as we reflect on this day and uh, attack on our country 19 years ago, we remember. And I want to thank James and the Panfed family for remembering and never forgetting. What I think about our call of action after the attacks of 9-11, how our country responded, how Penn Fed responded, how our nation responded, and how our military responded. And I just want to talk a little bit how Penn Fed responded. And I think about Ed Cody and board members that said, we got to do something. And they started by going to Bethesda and supporting our wounded and family members, providing assistance. Our nation responded. Little kids responded by writing letters to service members. Families sending care packages to service members deployed in harm's way. And so many associations providing assistance to Gold Star families. That's what I think about today. But I also think about the huge sacrifice. I think about the casualties of war. And I think about the young men, young men and women that lined up at recruiter offices and said, I got to do something. Our country was attacked. And I just want to talk about one young New Yorker that I was his first sergeant. And he was killed in action in April the 6th of 2003, young Private Greg Huxley. Young Huxley didn't have to join the Army, but that's something that he wanted to do. And, he, and I was his first sergeant, and early in 2003, as we invaded Iraq and took the fight to the enemy, Private Huxley made all the sacrifice. But what I remember about Private Huxley, he had a heart of service, a heart of commitment, and a heart of sacrifice. And every day, I had a box made and what's etched in this wooden box is make it matter. And it's a reminder of all the service members I lost through my many deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. And too many to name and too many to count. In 2018, September the 2nd, one that I want to uh, uh, share, because each one I have a a storyboard, a little about each one. And every day I pull out one and I read it and reflect on their sacrifice. And today I want to share one with you. And that was Command Sergeant Major Tim Boyer. We served many deployments together. I was his Sergeant Major. I was his mentor. But I think about Sergeant Major Boyer in a lot of ways. He was my mentor. Sergeant Major Boyer was killed in action on 3 September of 2018 by a small arms fire. Sergeant Major Boyer served over 20 years in the U.S. Army. He was a great friend. He had a great family, a young son. And like so many service members that made the Oakman sacrifice, they never had an opportunity to walk back through the doors of their home to see their loved ones. They never had a chance to tuck their children in the bed. They never had opportunity to spend birthdays together with their family, their anniversaries, the holidays. So as we reflect back on this day, 19 years ago, and we think about the almost 3,000 that lost their lives, innocent Americans, and we think about the service members 
that made the ultimate sacrifice. Remember them. Remember their families. And I want to thank Pan Fed for everything that you continue to do in giving back and providing assistance to first responders and to our military and our veterans community. Thank you.